it's time for a quick movie review and today's movie is 47 meters down uncaged so for this I thought I'd dress appropriately because I don't know seemed like a good idea seemed like it okay let's get on with the review this stars Sophie Nilsey, Karim Fox, Brianna Teju I think it's pronounced that way uh, Sistine Rose Stallone and Breck a Basinger, John Corbett, and directed by Johannes Roberts, who also directed the original 47 Meters Down. Okay, so what we have here is a sequel that's really not connected to the first one, it's really a sequel in name only, which is kind of understandable with how the original one ended. This time the movie focuses on four teenage girls who uh, decide to go diving into a, a, a sunken underwater city. Even though they're not really experienced divers, except for the main character of Mia, who's been diving before, but not since she was a kid, so... Uh, this isn't what you call a great plan. As you'd expect, things go wrong, and they're trapped in there with a great white shark. So, you may have noticed I got changed because it's just going to be too cold, and... yeah. Uh, yeah, so this one takes a different approach to the uh, first one. The first one had a sense of realism. This one kind of throws that out the window a little bit. I'm not sure how scientifically accurate some of the aspects of the shark were. If you've seen it, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so this one does try to up the ante with, with having more people in peril. It also is a bit of a I guess teenagers in peril as well, kind of in a way, kind of remind me of Jaws 2, but maybe not up there with Jaws 2, which is one of the better shark sequels. This one, mm, no, I gotta say, not as good as the original, but with how the original, but I guess I were kind of stuck in a corner because it'd be kind of silly if it brought the original character back from the first one, it wouldn't make much sense, so I guess this was probably something they had to do. As you'd expect, there's not a great sense of depth to the four main girls. It's basically the main character who's a little shy but uh, tries to come out of a shell a bit. There's this smart aleck girl, the smart girl, and the stepsister girl, I guess is the best way to describe the characters. So it's basically the premise, girls stuck in an underwater city being stalked by a shark yeah. I actually did give the first one a rewatch before I watch this, but to be honest, you don't really need to see the first one to see this one. There is really no connection apart from the fact that both have sharks in them. And the original had, like, was slightly more realistic than this. Uh, this one does go a little over the top, and sometimes the characters make some really stupid decisions. And of course, I know they're supposed to be panicking and but you go wow what a stupid thing to do it does have a few tense moments a few jump scares here and there uh, but I gotta be honest I was disappointed by it special effects are just okay I thought the main girls performances were pretty decent in after watching it is what what it is kind of a silly silly premise so what am I going to score this? I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's not great. Uh, it didn't surpass the first one. But I kind of understand, like I said before, why they had to do something different. It just makes sense storyline-wise. As always, this is just my opinion. Feel free to disagree. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, you had to send me in a tight nylon rash vest. <laughs> I'm Adam and I'll see you again soon.